Okay guys, so it is part 3 of WWDC first keynote 2011 with Steve Jobs, Phil Schiller and some other people. So it's time to talk a little bit about some other features. I'm going to talk about all of these 10 new features that they are covering here on this event and they have like 250 new features but they're only covering 10 but obviously they're covering the biggest ones. So one of the new features here uh, now is the Mac App Store and uh, yeah, it is like uh, the best place to discover new Mac applications Mac applications and obviously you can buy pieces after from a number of different online places like uh, you know Target, Amazon.com, Walmart, Best Buy, you know we have all of these places but the Mac App Store is the most popular uh, number one channel unit of, you know to buy uh, PC software so that's kind of good that's kind of cool uh, and also now that the App Store is built into lines so you don't have to go to websites or anything uh, you have enough purchase your push notifications so very cool there uh, then they started to talk about uh, this new Delta update that's coming that's going to make the patching e easier and you know more uh, quickly to uh, handle and uh, then they talked about launchpad launchpad is kind of cool uh, because uh, you can you know pinch gesture and all your apps appear and you know you have multiple pages you have a uh, like in iOS, you know, that you can have different kinds of uh, pages and a big grid and all of those things. So, Launchpad is pretty cool. Uh, then they start to talk a little bit about Resume, and this is a cool thing. Uh, when you have been into an application, then you close it, you could, you know, open it again and you will resume where you've been, and uh, that is very good. That is something that uh, I love and uh, that they're doing here uh, because I mean th that's a feature that you want sometimes like uh, when you're moving windows you have made a selection you have uh, some tools you have highlighted text then you just want to resume where you left them and this is something that you'll be able to do now uh, it was include like windows placement spaces and all of those things so very cool there that they're doing it and here you can see the logo there then we have auto save, and this is something also pretty amazing. Uh, basically, it will auto save all the time. I mean, you must have heard sometimes that you should have saved that document. Well, now Mac OS 10% Lion will like auto save it, and you can browse different versions. So, as you can see here on this logo, it's awesome. And as you can see now with this new Mac OS 10% Lion, you could, you know, on this menu bar, on this document name, you can click on it and you get uh, uh, different kinds of things that you can do. You can prevent auto saves. Uh, you can also like revert to the uh, uh, other the last open version you can also browse the different versions because it makes different versions of the document so very good there if you make a mistake and you know you just want to go back and also you can duplicate it you can lock it make all of these kinds of cool things um, so yeah that is kind of good then they have some demo time you know showed off the launch pad uh, you know all of these things that I've already talked about and um, as you can see it really looks like iOS so very cool there and uh, I like it you know back to the Mac as they had a little keynote there before and uh, you know working on pages document and as you can see here they are in a document here or maybe some kind of powerpoint program uh and they're making some changes and then they like close the application and open it up again and they are back where they left off then we have the application called airdrop and it's like uh, what do you call it? It's like Dropbox for Windows users and I think Mac users also could use it but airdrop uh, it's a simple automatic uh, program if you want to share files with your friends you don't have to use a thumb drive anymore I mean that's kind of old school old school so you know if you want to share something to a friend you know peer to peer you can go ahead and do so it's auto discover auto setup you just uh, open this airdrop application that you can see uh, who other uh, is using this airdrop share file you just drop it on the user and bam it's finished it's magical and then we have the last feature it's number 10 it's mail and uh, yeah they have this new mail applications maybe not that interesting if you know, more interesting iPhone stuff like that but uh, yeah they have uh, you know improved it full encrypted transfer confirm to send and receive all the discovery and set up peer to peer also they have a better new search option here when you search for your mails yeah I know it sounds kind of boring but uh, I mean uh, no Windows fanboy would think this is cool, but uh, you know, obviously Mac 
people think is cool, but uh, I think it's also kind of cool, I mean, that they're improving the search. Uh, maybe they should add the search in the middle, I mean, uh, yeah, that would be kind of good there. Uh, but it's good that they have improved it and, you know, they get some applause here there because everyone loves mail and then they, you know, demo it out. So, yeah, that is all of the 10 features. So, that's part number three. See you.